fact it's November and the fact that obviously tourism's low at the moment means that I'm probably one of the only people here at Cove Bay Harbour. I will be filming today's video at the home of the newest club in the SPFL. But first off, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about where they're from here in Cove Bay. So yeah, just a few miles south of Aberdeen city centre and look at this. This is just amazing. Oh my days. I feel so lucky to be here right now. See, when I come to these places, I'm not hugely brushed up on, obviously on, like some of the local customs and stuff, so I do try and learn as much before I come. However, just certain things are quite hard to pick up from online. So yeah, I saw that this place was kind of seen as by the locals maybe as a village, but it's officially like a suburb of the city, so I'm not too sure sometimes about these things, which is where I rely on you lot to let me know in the comments below. This could be the best spot I've ever come for an intro of a video. This literally feels like I'm back in Australia or in Spain or something. This is insane, look at that. The moon is just up there. And the sun glistening out over the North Sea. So yeah, if you went far enough that way, eventually you would come to Norway or Denmark. But right now, if you were to show someone who didn't know where I was, they'd think you'd go out there and find Ibiza. That is mad. Sorry to have stopped your broadcast, but today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. In the next minute, I will just tell you why OneFootball is one of the best apps out there for all the football news. Now, this video is a Cove Rangers video, so like myself, I don't know a huge amount about the team, so all I need to do is go into OneFootball, type in Cove Rangers, and I can find out all about how they've been getting on this season. Not just that though, I can star the team and make them my favorites within the app, and I will get alerts from anything from goals, match facts, red cards, transfers, and more. They have a whole host of teams and leagues on the app, so you can always keep up to date with all the latest football news, not just from Cove Rangers though, but from any club in the world. So click on that first link in the description box below, download the app, and you'll be supporting the channel. Thank you very much, and back to the video. Now, how am I gonna traverse my way back down the steep rock of Cove Bay? I'm definitely stuck. I got, I came up away, I couldn't go back down. So I basically had to traverse my way along here. But do you know what? It's good for the soul, good for the mind, the body and the brain. Oh God. Basically a little bit of rock climbing start of my day. I've had to, I went, up around there, I've had to come across to this bit here to try and find an easier way down because the way I was going, I was on to a loser. Anyway, it's about time. Now I'm so knackered after climbing up that rock and almost falling off to my death that uh, it's about time we headed off to the home of Cove Rangers. So I'll see you down there in a second. So yeah, here I am at Balmoral Stadium up in the northeast of Scotland. I bet not many of my non-Scottish subscribers have heard of Balmoral Stadium and Cove Rangers. So, just asked inside and uh, yeah, I'm able to go in. So let's have a look. Ooh. 
Look at this. And I'm inside again at the home, this time, of Cove Rangers. Get a few pics for the Insta-G. Oh, look at that. Beautiful day here, just south of Aberdeen. That tiny little stand over there, bit of a bigger one here. But yeah, coming into grounds like this, exploring the more unknown clubs, makes me so buzzing. I absolutely love it. Look at that, what a lovely view. So yeah, when it comes to Cove Rangers, I should probably talk to you first about their back-to-back -back promotions. In the 18-19 season, they beat Berwick Rangers 7-0 on aggregate in the League 2 playoff, having won the Highland League. Berwick again come into my vids. I visited them a few months ago, and what a lovely club they are. After the following season, last season obviously was terminated, Cove Rangers were awarded the league title for finishing top of their league. They were top at the time, and like I've mentioned in a couple of my videos now, were awarded the league thanks to a points per game system, because they didn't complete the season. So Cove Rangers went from a fairly unknown entity to Scotland's third tier of football in quite a short time, so fair play. And guess what? They are currently top of League One. And uh, yeah, if they have a good season this season, they'll be back to back to back promotions. And they'll be up in the championship, the second tier, which is pretty amazing. And actually, this is an important ground for me because it means I've ticked off all 10 League One grounds. So I've got no more League One grounds to go. I'm trying to tick off all 42 SPFL clubs. And League One is the first complete league that I've now done. So yeah, yesterday I went to Peterhead. That was my penultimate. And then today I'm at Cove Rangers. So Scottish League One, completed it, mate. So yeah, what an impressive rise this club are having here at Balmoral Stadium, but I'm sure there's a lot I've missed out. So again, I rely on you lot in the comments. Do let me know if you know anything about this team. Cove Rangers have won a number of Highland titles and smaller cups, as well as obviously the two leagues that we spoke about earlier. And I wonder what's made them such a big success over these past few years. Maybe it's the move to the new stadium because they were at a different stadium called Allen Park not too long ago. And their success has coincided a lot with uh, with their move here. Honestly, can't believe how lucky I've got lately with being able to come in to these stadiums. Yeah, put yourself out there and good things will happen, let me tell you. And actually, this part here, with this little stand and then the hill behind over there, it is so reminiscent of Penrith FC, who I've been to a few times down in England. I'll include a picture and I'll try and include like a similar pan to what I'm doing now. And they almost seem identical. Quite amazing, really. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. And yeah, Cove Rangers, the newest team in the SPFL due to all their promotions lately. I'm gonna, uh, gonna keep going around here, get another view of the stadium this time from the other side of the pitch. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna touch it. There's the goal net. And here, oh, here's the plastic pitch and there's the little black bits that they put in there that get stuck in your shoes after you've played. Do players play in uh, studs when they play? Like in the SPFL or whatever, when you've got to go and play, I don't know, Killy, do they have to wear studs? Because I remember in PE, back in the day, you weren't allowed to wear studs on the Astro. But those little black bits get in your shoes for days. It's like sand at a beach. And, um, and yeah, when you're watching a game on TV, you can see the bounce of the ball has like this little black shadow after it. I've said this in one of my recent videos, can't remember which one now, but yeah, like you can always see when that's the case. And oh my God, what a day. What an amazing few days I've had coming up here. I've not had a drop of rain. There is not a cloud in the sky. Honestly, this is mad. You're probably thinking I'm filming this in July, but bringing it out now, but no. That is not the case. That is insane. Look at this. In this little stand now, the Colin Lawson transport stand. There you go. And look at this, this is the only, these two stands over there 
and over there are standing but this one is a seated as well as that one obviously over there with the crfc written into it so let's just count how many seats there are there's six and six 12 24 36 37 38 39 40 50 seats a 50 seated stand there you go only 50 people could sit in that little section there i don't know how many you'd get over there a few hundred maybe and then plus whatever's standing around here what a nice little stadium it's in like an industrial park um not the best area but only like a five minute drive from where i was earlier where i almost died on the rocks so yeah look at that what a view oh well eh? famous here in scotland in the papers but um yeah just basically walking around the whole side of the pitch here as ever yeah can't go inside but still this is way more than what you get at some clubs and i cannot complain about cannot complain about this this is unreal what a day i know i keep going on about the weather but this is so unexpected i hope you've learned a little bit today about uh old cove rangers and what makes them the newest team here in the spfl and yeah if you're from abroad and you've never heard of them before do check out for their scores and maybe in a couple of years you'll see them in the premiership with the 50 seater stand turned into a 50,000 seater stand who knows anyway yeah please do leave a like on this video download one football and drop me a comment below if you support the mighty cove i'm off to film a video at aberdeen in a minute so speaking of videos i'll leave a couple on screen so you can continue watching but from here just south of Aberdeen, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.